All right. So we got the Black Shuck SCP-023. They just came out uh, by the guys over there at SCP Animated Tales from Foundation. Shout out them. So let's go ahead and hop right into this. See what it's talking about. Let's go. SCP related news to tell you. Paranormal Activity Books are going to publish three books featuring the most popular and interesting SCP. Yeah, I heard about that. They're making they're making the articles with illustrations and additional materials. The exterior looks rich and promising. It's oversized hardbound with leather imitating covers. The books seem more like research journals with all these authentic bloodstained reports, enclosed photos, and handwritten notes. Illustrations by more than 50 professional artists look positively terrifying. The crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo has started just recently, and you should definitely support it. Why? Because only its backers have a chance to get all three books wrapped in dust jackets with support for augmented reality, and an exclusive slipcase shaped as a Foundation personnel suitcase. Upon reaching stretch goals they set, each backer will get all kinds of free bonuses, and all backers automatically participate in a giveaway of 30 limited edition vinyl toys based on SCP Redacted. So let's go and make it possible to publish the best SCP books we've ever seen. The link is in the description. Not gonna lie. Those come out, I'm definitely gonna get those. Just, just like as a collectible, something you put in like, you know, like when I get my official stream set up, when I get my own house, bro, like just put it in the back right there along with the manga and stuff like that. Fire, fire, fire. I could reach out and probably get a sponsorship, but oh, here go our boy. Hold on, hold on. Shh, 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 shh. I ain't gonna lie, that rain is down horrible, bro. That shit look like a glitch on my screen. It look like it belonged in Undertale. Whiskey, please. You can't smoke in here, lad. Well, it's a good thing I'm meaning to quit then. You don't seem from around here, friend. You're a tourist now. I'm here on business. Now, what kind of business would bring anyone out to this quaint little village? Why don't you tell me, Mr. McTavish? How the hell do you know that name? Let's just say I work for a certain organization that's been keeping track of you for a long time. Look, I've told you people all that I know. I've nothing to gain from holding back. Whoa! We both know you didn't tell the Foundation clear. everything. So now I'm here bringing the questioning to you. And I guarantee you won't like the consequences of refusing to answer. Fine. What do you want to know? Tell me about the Black Shuck. I was a young man at the time, about 50 years ago. I lived in the small town outside of Manchester. My ma had always taught us to be a little superstitious. It was usually small things, Horseshoes and four-leaf clovers were good luck. Walking under ladders and breaking mirrors were bad. Never really thought anything of it. It was just the way she was. Get to the point. Well, there was always one thing my ma was adamant about. Don't look a black dog in the eye. It was the one thing that always stuck with me. Something about the way she said it. The fear in her eyes. The pale complexion of her face. She had seen something. Something dark. Yeah, I got something similar in my culture. It's, uh, whenever you see a black cat, you gotta spit. I don't know if y'all, I don't know if anybody know about that one, but that's, that's what I got. I was a good lad, kept to the ritual set forth, and was always mindful to do everything my ma had said to do. But none of that mattered until I met that thing. When did you first make contact with 023? A few days before the incident. I had enlisted in the British Army during the war. Me and my mates were out making our scheduled perimeter patrols at night. We were walking back to camp when one bloke stops right in the middle of the road, staring off to something in the distance. It was black, pitch black, darker than the night itself. Me and the other soldiers backed away, but this one lad, he started walking closer to get a better look. What happened to him? He turned to say something about it being just a dog, and as he did, the thing pounced. All I saw was a shadow of black fur, and I fell back. 
The other soldier ran off to get reinforcements. I don't remember much after that. Just flashes. Y'all making y'all making round daily patrols without any blickies on you? Right, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Makes sense. I remember rage. I remember seeing my friend beneath the large creature. I remember falling back and hitting my head. I felt the strange soreness across my whole body. I lifted myself up and rubbed the back of my head. It was covered in blood. My vision was blurry and I called out for help. There was no reply. You don't need a plan for big ass dogs to have a gun in the army. I mean, come on. This is the SCP foundation we talking about. We talking about actual army soldiers. We talking about. But then I saw the beast peer over the roadside. I closed my eyes, sitting perfectly still, trying to muffle my breathing. I felt its hot breath against my ear as it sniffed at me. It was taunting me, testing me. How do you mean? It was trying to get me to look at it, but I just kept hearing my mum's voice in my head telling me to keep my eyes shut, and that's exactly what I did. How did you manage to repel it? I didn't. It might have just been a few minutes, but it felt like hours. I thought at any moment it would finally get fed up and attack, but it didn't. I started hearing shouts from the troops, and I could see lights begin to shine around me. I heard the creature take off into the woods, but I was still scared to open my eyes. I got placed on the stretcher and got carried back to camp. Hmm. You mentioned an incident. Yes. While in triage a couple days later, I read a paper that talked about a massacre at a nearby church. All of the bodies had been filled with dark ash, like they had been burned from the inside out. It didn't mention the beast in the article, but I knew that somehow they must have been connected. What happened to the other soldiers on patrol with you? They were fine, at least for a while. But exactly one year after we were attacked in the forest, one of them died in battle, and the other's father passed away from a heart attack. Seems like a weird coincidence, yeah? But my mum would always say that the black dog would take you or your loved one. Have you ever heard of anyone preventing this from happening? I just peed, bro. This man telling his whole story. <laughs> bro, he telling his whole story, whole time Ruger to his dome, bro. Holy. What? Now, if I'm being honest, I haven't thought about this in years. Try not to. Well, I'm asking you to think real hard about any and all things that might be able to stop this. Please, I don't know. I've told you everything I can. I'm uh, sorry. I just... Uh, I've run out of options. You looked into its eyes, didn't you? Yeah. I did. I wish there was something I could do for you. It can't be easy to know the day you're going to die. How long you have left. I'm not worried about me. And I think it knows that. It's coming after my son. Why would it... Oh, it goes after your family, too. Whoa. Wait, wait, that was his dad? Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Am I... Wait, hold on. Hold on, am I tripping? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Coming after my son. Yo, that's his dad! That wasn't even him! He's someone I always looked up to. After all the SCPs he's contained, the man's a legend. Strange that I haven't heard more about him. Though his record does seem quite impressive. Dr. Buck? Oh, look at her, look at her. She finally showed him some emotion, huh? You lost your husband, didn't you? You B-word. Uh-huh, where all that attitude went, out the window. Feel some sadness for once. Hmm? Are you feeling all right? I don't mind doing the interview with him myself. Oh, we could always reschedule for another time. No, that won't be necessary. Okay, no problem. You just seem distracted is all. Something on your mind? The only thing distracting me is the two of you. Please give me a minute alone to study the subject in peace. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Dr. Buck on the verge? Hey, bro, I love... See, this is the only reason Tales of Foundation, their SCP animations are so different because the way, the way that they, like... The way that they do it, they make it like, uh, like a story. Like each episode furthers the story through SCPs, and it's just like, wow, bro. Like 
we've grown to love these characters, and it's just, it's impressive, bro. The way that they, the way that they do their stuff, it's impressive, bro. I mean, this is really only gonna teach her not to feel any more. Doctor, doctor, come quick! No, no, no. stay with me, buddy. I'm sorry, Mr. Green. We gather here today to remember Thomas Green Jr. <laughs> thanks for watching the episode, and thanks. See, now look at that. That's how you do a cliffhanger in the next SCP. Yo, that's fire. <laughs> yo, shout out, yo, Davey, yo. Oh, that's so fire.